we're going to Branson. For the Mr. Crappie Invitational and on cue the rain heads. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Ah, we're headed. We've got a five hour drive and uh, we've got how many days before this thing starts? Four days. Four days of beautiful Branson, Missouri. Now we've got some weather coming in, correct? Cold and rain. Cold and rain. So go figure, right? Tournament, biggest tournament of our lives and that's going to happen. But anyway, we're going to be having a lot of episodes at Table Rock Lake. We look forward to sharing that with you. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to be putting big fish in the boat, three pound fishing. Please subscribe. Let's go. All right, folks, welcome to the Mr. Crappie Invitational Series. We've got about four episodes at least, and we are going to be fishing Table Rock Lake. I can't wait to share this information with you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Here we go. Man, that was a long drive, but we are here. We've got a lot of fishing to do here now. We've got about seven hours we get to fish today. Four days of pre fishing. Hey, check it out. I cleaned my decals. Those look pretty nice. So we're gonna rig up the boat, get it ready to go. We'll be on the water. There it is. Welcome to Table Rock Lake. <laughs> We're having a good time. We've got some uh, fish in the live well already. Unfortunately, they're all about this size. This is a roughly around a 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. So we obviously need to upgrade, but it feels good to be catching fish. I'll tell you that right off the bat, we've got five of them already and we've been on here just a short period of time. So we know they're biting. Right now I'm using the Tickle Fry Dirty Milk Redhead 16th ounce jig and uh, our water temperature is 64 so roughly the same as at home really it's extremely deep lake beautiful surrounded by mountains is it called the ozark mountains is that right yeah ozark mountains yeah we're catching fish we just gotta find the tournament we gotta find the uh, tournament fish yeah see here's another ten and a half or great time at least we're catching fish and it's positive so we we just need to find those bigger fish we're gonna keep we're gonna go all the way back in the back of this creek three or four but regardless that's where we're gonna go we're gonna keep going back and then work our way back to the marina for the first day table rock lake is located in branson obviously 67 square miles it was constructed in 1954 to 1958. They got black nose and we haven't read what kind of fish they have in table rock but uh i'm gonna give you some live scope uh footage as well so a lot of the species in this lake are white bass large mouth bass spotted bass smallmouth bass walleye bluegill flat flathead catfish obviously crappie different varieties of crappie folks this spoonbill this lake has it all and definitely can keep you entertained it's absolutely stunning without a doubt So I thought this episode would be a good one to kind of give you guys some background on the lake, obviously. So their inflow source at this lake is definitely James River, White River, Kings River, okay? There's also a creek named Long Creek, and that's pretty much where we fish the entire time. Now, we don't have the big motor on the back of our boat, so we kind of try to stay close. Now, we have a 115, but the boys with the 300s, they're going up to James. They're going far away from the, the marinas. Um, but we still had a great time where we were at, and I'll tell you, the rivers were definitely, and the creeks were definitely producing a lot of crappie. So you didn't have a problem in terms of volume, um, but we definitely had to find some size crappie for this tournament, for sure. That's our best mark and our best fish so far today. Good fish. Oh, 
that. Orange is working good. So you might ask, what have we been fishing? Well, we're mostly fishing uh, timber that you cannot see. This timber is about three to four foot underneath the water. It's in upwards to 30, 40, 50 foot. It's amazing how deep it is. But we're looking for these marks right here. And this is a perfect example of what we would look through for the entire day. And I mean, all you had to do was troll the, the shorelines and you'd find timber just beneath, beneath the surface. And all you're doing is looking for these marks and you drop on them. Now on this particular day, I'm using monkey milk from Jinko Fishing. It seemed to work pretty much the entire week. And I can't wait to kind of lead into that a little bit more in these later episodes. But I can tell you that this was it. This was a majority of it. We did do brush piles. We did do um, some casting, but I would say over the entire span even and we picked up on it very quickly on the very first day timber submerged timber was without a doubt the number one target If you want to see the daily posts for three pound fishing, you can check me out at the Facebook page and Instagram. We uh, post on there quite a bit daily, actually. Um, you also, if you have an interest in the guide service in Southern Illinois, uh, you can go to three pound fishing guide service Facebook page. And I show a lot of pictures there from a lot of the guide trips that we do. And uh, right now we're booking in November, obviously. And uh, there's some availability, so give me a call, 618-694-5162. Well, we have a choice. We can go back closer to the boat ramp and try out one more cove. Or we can just, we can uh, keep looking at this side of this. So we're finishing up our first day of pre-fish. Thanks for watching, we appreciate it. We're gonna get a lot of videos from Table Rock Lake, no doubt about it. And uh, we look forward to bringing them to you. So uh, this will be video number one. We appreciate you guys watching. Hey, if you're curious, we're fishing. I'm fishing with a 13 footer, three pound fishing elite series from Ozark Rods. You can check them out at ozarkrod.com. Beautiful. It's light, folks. They don't have to be super stiff and, and heavy anymore. This is a light, just enough backbone to get her done. Ozarkrod.com. Marcus is actually playing, got the um, 12 foot brush buster. So, for no other reason, that just happens to be the rod that he has in his hands. So, they're just three pound fishing rods over here. All right, it's day two of the uh, pre-fish for the Mr. Crappie Invitational. And on cue, the rain has decided to come down like a crazy man. <laughs> Having fun. 45 minutes before it started to rain and it's only gotten worse. And it's scheduled to do this pretty much all day. So we're just sitting here waiting for it to kind of at least slow down so that we can get back out there. It's raining about as hard as it has been. But the, the most important thing is there's a lot of lightning. Maybe not the most effective uh, day too, but if you're curious where we're at, North, Northern uh, River. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen for you. It's gonna be hard to catch fish in this. Folks, day two was a complete wash. We got off the lake roughly around 12, 15, and it was probably one of the hardest pre-fish days I've ever experienced. I mean, rain, rain, would not go away whatsoever. And so we had to call it quits basically. And that was our experience in James because 
Um, well, actually, we did do two, another day over at James, but I can tell you that it was quite a, a, a haul for us to get there. So um, our, our plan at this point in our, in our minds is that we need to kind of stay at Long Creek and uh, it wasn't worth our travel time in the boat to James. But regardless, we're having a great time. We're experiencing Table Rock Lake and no matter where we go, it just seems like this timber is going to be the key to success in this Mr. Crappie Invitational 2020. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe. I look forward to bringing you this Mr. Crappie series, Mr. Crappie Invitational series. Thanks again.